Hello and welcome to the Cisco Certified Network Professional, CCNP, Routing and Switching Course, offered by Simply Learn. This is the first lesson in the T-Shoot module. This lesson focuses on network maintenance. Let us begin with the objectives of the lesson in the next slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to list the different network maintenance models, explain the features of the Cisco Lifecycle Services model, identify the various types of network application traffic, list the different forms of network documentation, explain why change control is important. Let us start our discussion with an understanding of maintenance models. Maintenance models are used to address all aspects of technology usage in a business methodically. There are many maintenance models, and each of them takes a slightly different approach. For example, the IT infrastructure library model focuses on how the use of technology can meet business needs. It is considered as the worldwide standard maintenance model. Two other models look at the same issues, but from an IT services point of view. They are Fault, Configuration, Accounting, Performance, and Security, FCAPS model, developed by ISO, and Telecommunications Management Network, TMN. Finally, Cisco Lifecycle Services is the maintenance model promoted by Cisco. In the next slide, we will start a detailed discussion of the Cisco Lifecycle Services model. The Cisco Lifecycle Services model defines the steps involved in deploying hardware and software solutions in an organization. The word lifecycle denotes that there is always change in an organization, consequently necessitating a repetition of the stages in Cisco Lifecycle Services. This methodology comprises six steps. Prepare, plan, design, implement, operate, and optimize. The acronym of the steps is PPDIOO, hence it is also known as the PPDIOO model. Let us learn more about each step of the Cisco Lifecycle Services model and its features in the next slide.